should be noted that there are a fair few bugs in the game. It's a big game. Insomniac is only so large. Sometimes things slip through the cracks. Uh, I'm good with what we have right now, honestly. So this, this is something that I definitely was a bit like, hmm, I don't know how to feel about that, where a lot of your skills are shared on a single slot. So you don't have, like, full customization. You have, like, more toggle style customization, you know, one or the other. And I, I kind of get why they do that, probably for balance, because otherwise people just do, like, you know, a, a min-maxed, you know, kit, if you will. But at the same time, it's like, I kind of wish I could just pick from everything. I get you. Um, that said, if they allowed you to have everything, you would probably be so OP you would break the game. Yeah, exactly right. So, it's a balanced thing. I mean, there's an argument to be said that Miles is already OP compared to Peter, both in terms of the story and his uh, power set. I mean, even, you know, even with uh, certain upgrades that uh, we're going to get with some of the characters over time, they don't definitely feel on par at the same time. Oh, it's a thicken. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. No one has seen Marco in years. Would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there, but he said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Hey, Mars. <laughs> I'm here again, nephew. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off while you were fighting Medicine. Hey, Blair. It just feels like, you know, we, we went through such like a traumatic incident, then all of a sudden we get all these calls all at the same time from all these important people. When life hits you, it hits you all at once. Sure does. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on. Okay, you're done. Ow. This is where, suddenly, very out of nowhere, you know, for, for story purposes, we're introduced to another group of enemies. These, uh, these fire guys. They're, they're, they're very interesting. I really like that they come out of nowhere and you're just like, what the frick is going on? Also nice, almost rider kick there. In the middle of doing a thing here, thank you. Got a long time to that explosion. <sighs> okay, fine, let's go. I can swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Oh my god, thank you. I'm charging a finder's fee next time though. <laughs> this dude's beats by Dr. Dre will not fall off no matter what happens. No, sir. That's because they're a brand you can trust. Like uh, Adidas, right? I always pronounced it Adidas as a kid because I never heard it spoken out loud. I'm just going off of what I've always heard, so I could be the wrong one. No, you're not the only, like, American or Canadian to pronounce it Adidas, don't worry. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. Bless you, Spider-Man. <laughs> I love that voice clip. <laughs> what was the deal with those guys? I, I am waiting for one of these times when Spider-Man goes to pick up someone to swing to the hospital. Them just going, no, no, I can't afford it. No, don't. I'll be in debt for life. Something tells me they're planning something big. Let's see what we got here. Ah, these are fun. Uh, nothing on the thing, so we've got to go meet up with Uncle Aaron. Okay. Now, which way are we going? Because I would like to go over there. Yeah, I like to do a super slingshot and then just fly with the wings. Yeah, get as much, like, gliding as you can, and then you switch to the... You swing them bobs. You do hit is. And later on, you even get some uh, unique sort of aerial specials that will let you either, you know, go back to flying or get even a, a double jump. 
and they're 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 kind of situational at first, but eventually you'll start to find, oh man, you can optimize them really well. In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities, and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known of collective other than their pension for animal skins but one thing is abundantly clear the spider did nothing to impede them oh, I, I feel like we did more than a few things buddy <laughs> i mean we caused some problems sure but we also solved a bunch as well yeah it's one of those things where if we weren't there i think things would have gone a lot worse Save countless lives and almost stop those bow and arrow geeks too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? I no? don't care, Jonah, because that's not my problem. That's what taxes are for. What about is an argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis? Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. Oh, I made the joke about the Suez Canal, but th they also did, huh? <laughs> yeah. Make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word for our sponsors. Yeah, good old hypocritical humor. Jonah would be very on for that air up water bottle. He'd be so into it. I think if I'm correct, there's a, a couple photo ops in the uh, the park here. Yeah. I forgot the button to fly for a moment there, but I flashed before my eyes. <laughs> well, one fun thing is uh, Miles can, if you crash into the ground, he will eat shit. Uh, Peter, not so much. He's a bit more learned. Uh, Peter does have like seven plus years on him. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. Just saying, guys. Just saying. <laughs> there was another one over there, I believe. There is like a little, uh, when you do that scan button, they will appear briefly. But if you get close enough, they uh, automatically get added to your map. It's a good system. It works. It also means you don't have to be like me and constantly mash the scan button as you play. Will say, I've been doing a, uh, a second casual run of Hogwarts Legacy, and when you go to the castle again on your broom and press the, uh, the button to make everything appear, it's a little bit dramatic when you see, like, 50 of them pop up at once. Sorry, Uncle Aaron. Responsibility and all that. We have both fire and a photograph all in the same place. Oh, this guy. Do not like this guy. Nope, they have big AoE. Which, yeah, I mean, a guy who literally just shoots big fire things everywhere, he would... And I mean, it's an effective technique. Make sure that this place doesn't go up in flames here. Don't worry, I got it. I think they're on the other side. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the bonus of all, to be honest. Help! Oh, for God's sake. Again. It's the same. Oh, no, it's not. He has a different, different headphones now. <laughs> what a bad day. 
First, you know, you get beaten up by cultists, and you have to get taken to the hospital with your red headphones, we'll and then they night. get broken, you buy yellow headphones, you get beaten up by cultists and have to go to the hospital again. Oh, jeez. Look, I'm just saying, this game is so much more woke than the first one. They have many varieties of white guy. <laughs> Don't think they're all the same just because they look the Hopefully same. It wasn't too rough of a trip. <laughs> Take care. Oh, For stars, he's black. Really That's true. That is a very different type of white person. <laughs> it sure is. Hey, anyway, where was I? All right, I was inches from taking a photo. Actually, I really enjoyed. Uh, you can like open up the camera in midair there, and I was trying to always get yeah get these like these flying shots here. Uh, it's a little difficult because usually the things are yeah like that though. Tough to get them in motion. Hmm. Don't know about unintentionally, fam. Yeah. Well, in the public size, it's unintentional. It wasn't them who did it, it was Osborne. Sorry, it was Octavius, but, uh, you know. I could have sworn there were two in the, this particular area. There probably is another, but I mean, the Central Park here is so massive, it's probably just not popping up for us. We'll find it as we swing around, though, another time. We'll definitely be back in Central Park. So I guess one thing I'll say that kind of, I don't know if I, I like it or not, because it, it has ups and downs for me, is it almost feels to me like... Miles and Peter's stories feel very separated. Like, you're, you're switching between, you know, two whole story modes almost. And they intersect at times. And that's an important thing that, you know, when they intersect, it's important. But I definitely had this feeling of, I'm like, oh, it just feels like almost like, like watching two different TV shows and going back and forth between them. From what I hear that gets solved as the game goes on but definitely where i was at i was a bit like okay are we are we just really doing like episodic you know that is probably the biggest issue the game faces is the pacing especially in the third act where it's all like a roller coaster because they actually had to cut a lot of stuff to make launch like it wasn't plot critical stuff but i imagine a lot of things were been built on more smoothly so if there is one thing i would say spider-man one marvel spider-man one does better it's the uh the plot pacing and maybe the plot itself if you uh just prefer the whole pete and doc Ock dynamic because i love peter and harry and i think they do mj better and miles is fun in this game but it's a lot more gonzo overall like all the ingredients yeah they're there but uh maybe they should have had a bit more time to simmer and who knows you know some of that that content that they were planning for the third act there there's dlc still planned so there's a lot they can do with that i don't know if there is dlc plan, is there? i'm pretty sure there will be i thought there was definitely after the new game plus but uh i i can't see them after the sales being so huge you know We'll see. They do have a a pretty extensive uh, future calendar for games. I will uh, leave it there. You're right. I, again, I've kind of thrown that out of my memory, but uh, now that you're saying it, right, there was no DLC plan. You're right. Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. Uncle Aaron, you still wearing purple, Actually, my dude. <laughs> hey, hey, he you just likes the color, something. okay? It looks good on me, yeah, nephew. So, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. What's that you wanted more to do as you swing through the city, you gluttonous little whore? 
Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. God, Miles is tall. He is. He did say he's taller than Peter. You're getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm watching you, Uncle Aaron. Always watching. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. Nah. They kind of allude to it with Haley in the uh, the first game, but it's a lot more. On the nose, eh? I'm here. Oh yeah, it, it was what subtext at first, but now it just feels like text in this game. Yeah, was subtext, now it's text text. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we got some scanning stuff here. Miles in general is is feels a lot more with like you know, his his tech there from the last game, whereas Peter's tech is just mostly stuff related to either the future or his spider arms. That tickled, by the way. All oh, right, because it's because it like it, it, it jiggles as you do it and it feels oh, it's ticklish. Gotta got the right angle. Another gate. seen a couple people struggle with these here because you do have to like offset your fingers to the perfect area i think with some of the uh, accessibility options uh which there's a lot of you can make it a lot easier you would have made a decent problem you should be seeing how to get inside now how did you move all this stuff here on a lot of uh, a <laughs> lot of hours going back and forth Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. A rare tech part. Use your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. I would like a bit more health, for sure. Health is very useful. It prevents you from dying. Slightly heal on successful parry. Uh, I'm better with perfect dodges. I feel like you're just going to be dodging more anyways, because I pretty much always dodge unless I need to specifically parry. Let's give Miles a new suit. Let's see what we got. Brooklyn 2099. Let's see, is that a... An original one, or is that a? I'm looking here. I got the list of the origins. I really like this blue one. Oh yeah, that blue one's nice. Might as well unlock some more while we're here. Uh, the Brooklyn 2099 suit is an original one, debuting in this game. Nice. That's why I'm glad we have you here, because God knows I won't be able to. Puts out a name to a face. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up there out. The one is falling into the wrong hands. Ooh, it's even got cool wings. Okay. Yeah, some of them do have custom wings, actually. I think this is just the default Miles wings, but some of them will have some specific ones for their, their unique, you know, type. Like the classic suit has the classic web wings, you know, and I think that's a lot of fun. Ooh, awkward. 
Mummy, Veil and Casa. Things did get a little bit better after Aaron helped uh, deal with the fallout at the end of Miles Morales. What? Let's head out into the city. Oh. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. You heard of the spectacular? Well, well, well. Spider Man's a shutterbug. Click, click. Whip, whip. Oh. You gotta dance. Yeah. Some things in New York you just can't explain. And that's what's great about it. I don't know how to dance. Oh, I forget what the dance button is. Punch. Punch near civilians. Hey. Oh, yeah. Worth whipping. <laughs> and maybe a little whipping, too. whipping with the boys. Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're the dudes from Kind of Funny, wow. which is, uh, you know, uh, is that oh, right. That's the day. journalistic... Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. What's the word I'm looking for here? Integrity? Is there some sort of <laughs> integrity issue, though? I don't know. You could argue both ways there. I got three skill points. It is kind of fun because there's a, a wide variety of you know voices for the generic bad guys there, and some of it is just Yuri Lowenthal doing his you know his sexist anime voice. Where whenever you want to have a character in an anime who's really bad, just get Yuri Lowenthal to dub him. You guys are really perfect for arsonists, so I have to say. Also, I feel like there's so much in like the modern world that is, you know, fireproof. You gotta pick a better thing. You gotta not be an arsonist. You gotta be like a like a cyber criminal now. Basically, what I'm saying is everyone should have net navvies. All right, we're good to go. Still got some fires to put out. What is that in the air? How about looking up? Oh. This flying thing. It's a Molotov cocktail. Oh, it's a Molotov! <laughs> Someone's Molotov is frozen in the air! Like I said, <laughs> some bugs here or there. And the good news is, based on how like these games are programmed, as soon as we're done this session, we turn off the game, uh, that'll clear the memory and things will be back to normal for a little bit longer. <laughs> well, hey. Look at all this stuff around here. And stuff over there. And stuff here. Jesus. A book club fair, you say? Switch to Peter anyway, see how he's doing. Then the nice thing is, if you get to a mission where you need to be the other guy, it'll just switch on back for you. Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Hey, face. Good. Sorry, I'm Joe. Harry and this <laughs> it's like, that's not even the same amount of syllables. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. It's DARPA. Yeah, Diaper Chief. He saw their leader. Some kind of big hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job too. It might also put a target on you if these guys are that level, but okay. Maybe publish that anonymously. We've gone through this song and dance before. She's fine with it. Where are we even trying to get a photo of? Well, oh, I think it's the the man in the silly hat over there. Can you Oh, do you do headshots, Spider-Man? Actually, here's a new one. Whether it's on the stage or in the open air, 
Where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. <laughs> He's not wrong. If you're a theater person, this okay? is the part of the world to be in if you're in North America. During Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. That's what I'm here for, I guess. Also, there's a Marco thing here. There's just so much! Ah, but the flame... Don't worry, there'll always be fire. There's only this right here, right now. I already missed my electricity powers. Yeah, I mean, it, the electricity is nice specifically for these guys, because it's just one and done on him. Now, we actually do get an electric power with the, um, the, the spider arms there, but we just don't have it yet, unfortunately. Oh, never mind, we do. I'm stupid. It's okay, sometimes I don't pay attention either. Shazam! See, the nice thing is, because these guys are made of sand, we can have Spider-Man brutalizing them just with no regard, right? He's not going to save them falling off the edge. I just ripped that guy apart. Probably check out that crystal now. Probably. It's my turn. It looks like rock candy. I want to bite into it. Nom. Careful not to bite to the wrong part. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall. I can relate. Sad day. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, like, see, if this was the first game, she'd be like, I, I, I go out of my way to do this for you. Mm -hmm. they, they, she's definitely realized the weight on his shoulders and is now working to help with that, as opposed to being more weight on the shoulders. Excellently put. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. I would have changed, personally, before going in, but... 